right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Haijun Yu. It's my great pla pleasure to present my recent work on this symposium on machine learning and a dynamic system. The topic of my talk is uh, unscanned learning stable and interpretable uh, dynamics using a generalized uh, UNSC principle. Uh, this is the work done with uh, uh, Professor Wei Nan Yi, uh, Qian Xiao Li, and uh, uh, my student Xin Yuan Tian. The first part, our motivation. So our motivation uh, is to learn low-dimensional dim model uh, for the uh, fluid dynamics uh, problem described by incompressible navier stokes equation. So uh, navier stokes equation is well known. Uh, so it's an equation cover, uh, could be used to govern complicated flow motions such as turbulence. It has several features make, which make it very hard to do analysis and the numerical simulation. Uh, first, uh, the nonlinearity. Uh, second, it's high dimensional. Uh, third, it has no scale separation. Uh, the last one is non gridding system. Uh, those properties uh, so uh, may make uh, full analysis of uh, uh, incompressible navier stokes equation uh, so very very hard <clears throat> so but if we if we can find some low dimensional model uh, which can capture some intrinsic uh, property of the underlying uh, navier stokes equation then we can do some analysis uh, based on the low dimensional model <clears throat> one typical example is, is the lorentz system uh, for uh, uh, really Bernard conversion problem. So a uh, Lorentz uh, obtained uh, is a three mode ODE system uh, for the really Bernard problem uh, by using uh, uh, only three uh, mostly linearly unstable mo uh, flare mode and uh, a Gallagher approximation. And using this mo uh, model, he uh, predict uh, the chaotic solution uh, that's uh, uh, why it is uh, uh, very famous uh, since that's the functional model that uh, is showed to uh, have a cubed solution. However, a uh, Lorentz system is a highly truncated system, so uh, its uh, quantitative accuracy is actually very limited. So uh, our motivation is to learn uh, some improved uh, Lorentz-like model uh, with following features. Uh, first, it should have a, a high fidelity. Second, uh, it still be low dimensional. Uh, third, a physically meaningful structure. Uh, third, fourth, uh, have a theoretical guarantee of long time stability. So, uh, in recent year, uh, there are a, a lot of uh, uh, different methods built for learning uh, dynamics uh, based on data uh, or do model reduction. Uh, including uh, sparse sparse identification method, uh, direct neural network fitting uh, with embedded uh, linear multi-step method, and uh, uh, the uh, Galagin closure approach. So all uh, the, the first three methods uh, we mentioned actually can be regarded as uh, unstructured approach, which means there are no physical uh, structure is imposed uh, in the uh, neural network. Uh, recently, there is uh, some structured approach. Uh, for example, uh, people impose uh, a gradient structure uh, or a uh, homogeneous structure uh, before uh, into the uh, underlying uh, neural network, such that the learner system uh, is uh, automatically stable. Uh, <clears throat> however, uh, all those uh, uh, existing uh, methods uh, do not apply to the uh, incompressible navier stokes equation. Uh, so uh, there, uh, the hypothesis space are too specific. Uh, it's limited to uh, a special problem. So in our uh, setting, we need to use a more general uh, physical structure. Uh, so uh, actually, our our approach based on a generalized Ansgar principle. So let's look at the answer principle first. So uh, answer principle is uh, uh, is a uh, is something about the model reduction. Uh, 
So consider some uh, system that is close to equilibrium. Uh, if it's a dissipation, dissipation uh, dissipated system, it can, can be described by this uh, equation one. Here, H is the generalized coordinates. Uh, v is the potential function of free energy of the system. Um, so M is the dissipative matrix. Uh, Onsager reciprocal relation uh, actually says that M should be a symmetric matrix. So uh, dissipative means uh, M should be semi-positive se semi uh, definite. So by using these two properties, uh, it can be easily shown that uh, uh, V, the free energy as a function of time T uh, is non creasing so even though this uh, equation one is very simple, it has been applied and it tend, uh, intended uh, to PD system and uh, applied a lot uh, in the mathematical modeling of uh, complex fluid and material science. Uh, so this uh, is, uh, is a very general principle. Uh, Ansager has been awarded the Nobel Prize for uh, his discovery. Uh, but uh, uh, equation one cannot be applied to the Navier-Stokes equation uh, uh, since Navier-Stokes equation is not a grid system. Here, uh, equation one is a uh, is a grid system, so we have to use a generalized principle, which is given on the next slide. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, so in the generalized answer principle, we and uh, another two terms in the equation uh, as the uh, anti-symmetric uh, term W uh, accounting for uh, conservative interactions. A term G uh, is used to, uh, to represent the external force. In the original Ansgar principle, uh, the system is assumed to be uh, near to the equilibrium state, which means we should be a quadratic function of H. Uh, but here we, uh, uh, we, we, we do not uh, impose such a uh, assumption. Uh, the system can be uh, far away from the equilibrium. So uh, we, we only need it to be low bounded. Uh, so it can be a potential function of, of free energy or negative the entropy. So which means make it applicable to a lot of uh, uh, real applications. So uh, in this, in our approach, we assume that uh, M plus W is a non-singular matrix. So we can invert to the right side, uh, retaining an equivalent, equivalent form at this. So we can uh, easily show that uh, uh, after the inversion, M plus W, the inverse of M plus W is still can be split into part, a positive semi-definite part and uh, a skewed symmetric part. <clears throat> so uh, it can be easily so that uh, uh, this, this equation that satisfy uh, energy dissipation law given in uh, equation two, uh, if the eternal force F is zero, then we can see uh, the free energy uh, V uh, as a function of T is not, not increasing. Uh, for the general case, uh, if F is non-zero, uh, then we need to uh, uh, make some uh, assumption about the dissipation, uh, uniform uh, dissipation and uh, coercive uh, uh, potential. So, uh, so if this uh, eternal force is uh, has only linear growth, then we can prove that under those uh, mind conditions, uh, the solution H and also the potential function of free energy function V is remain, remain finite for any time T. So we can also show that uh, this form is the invariant uh, up to a coordinate transform. Uh, that's the reason uh, we, can, we can choose a better uh, low dimensional uh, uh, general, generalized coordinate. Uh, it also covers a lot of uh, 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 well known system. For example, uh, the deterministic Langevin equation uh, can be cast into this form, and the, the dynamics 
uh, described by the generalized Poisson Brexit uh, can also be retained to this form. And also the uh, incompressible Navier Stokes equation we are, we, are, we are interested in uh, can be retained into this form. Now, uh, we try using uh, the generalized answer principle to learn uh, hidden dynamics. Uh, we have to, uh, yeah, we face two challenges. Uh, first, uh, how to find a, general, uh, gen a good set of generalized coordinates. Uh, second, how to determine the large amount of coefficient in uh, the um, M, W, and V. So, uh, Traditional uh, people do this uh, using some by some mathematical analysis. Uh, if the we have uh, uh, ground truth underlying microscope microscopic model, uh, if the system have some skill separation or or uh, near quasi equilibrium, then we can do some uh, mathematical analysis to obtain a microscopic cosine green model uh, by using uh, some approximation. Uh, however, when the system is uh, uh, far from, uh, is not close to equilibrium or has no scale separation, then it's hard to do this. So we take a data-driven approach. Uh, we use principal component analysis uh, or autoencoder, which is a, a nonlinear extension of uh, PCA to find the generalized coordinate. Uh, we, we use the neural network to parameterize the generalized ASIC principle and learn the coefficients in those uh, quantities by fitting data. Uh, we call the overall approach the ASIC net approach. <laughs> okay, uh, now I, I will show you the structure of ASIC net and the learning uh, method. <clears throat> so uh, actually ASIC net uh, is uh, uh, it's a unit network uh, parameterization of the ANSC principle. So we have to uh, uh, give some form of the potential V, uh, free energy V, and the distribution matrix H, so that those properties are satisfied. For the lower boundaries, uh, we assume we have this form. So uh, this is beta and alpha uh, are non zero uh, positive numbers, uh, small numbers, uh, if uh, we consider false system. Uh, if the are positive, if we can we 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 uh, the system is closed system, then we take uh, does take alpha and beta to be zero. <clears throat> so uh, then uh, the structure of answer net is given on the uh, this feature uh, this figure uh, is take the state variable h as input and uh, going through several uh, alternate -like linear layers. Uh, with activation activation function, uh, possibly uh, with if multi layer uh, are used, hidden layer are used, then we uh, also include some uh, ResNet shortcut uh, so that the training can be uh, yeah have better training uh, property. Then uh, the the uh, the those multi layer perception neural network are used to uh, produce a common basis for uh, for uh, output the the UI in in uh, free energy and L uh, matrix uh, which is a lower uh, uh, triangular matrix and W tilde and uh, uh, those quantities are formed by linear combination of the uh, the, the the general basis the adaptive basis uh, of this common uh, shared uh, sub network. Then uh, the after the free energy V is calculated, we use the auto uh, grad mechanics in uh, in, uh, in uh, machine learning library to calculate the gradient of V. Then we output uh, the, the the function f usually is has a uh, a priori form or is uh, uh, we in the, in our application in this paper. Uh, we use a linear uh, function of h, uh, so it's a it's a simple one. So we we output output the uh, it the output of answer like h is does this formula given by this formula. So uh, so to train the answer net, uh, we use such a loss function, which is uh, 
the mean square uh, error uh, of the uh, of the prediction error uh, using uh, uh, here the sample data is uh, is a two snapshot in each sample we have two snapshot on the uh, trajectory data taken at time t1 and time t2 so uh, we forward the h hat is the is the solution uh, forward by using a Runge Kutta method using OSCnet uh, from HT1 to HT2. Uh, if the distance between HT1 and T2 is large, then we we need to use multi steps of Longo Kutta. Uh, if it's a, a small, then we can just take in s equal to one. So <clears throat> so this loss is trained minimized by using a stochastic atom method. Which is uh, very efficient uh, and a standard in machine learning community. <clears throat> so this picture uh, gave you the structure of OnScanNet as a learning process. So when we have uh, ODE observ observation uh, data and uh, want to learn ODE from those data, but uh, if you are given some high-dimensional uh, trajectory data, you want to learn a low-dimensional ODE. Uh, then you have to do a dimension reduction. So in this slide, I show you how to use autoencoder and uh, OD net together, OSCnet together to learn uh, the, the system. So here the loss have three parts. The first part is the uh, autoencoder loss. So uh, phi is the encoder function, uh, psi is the decoder function. So this is a standard uh, autoencoder loss. And the LOD is the, uh, the loss of OD net, uh, which is given on the previous slides. Uh, the last term is uh, um, metric preserving regularization term. This LISO uh, gave you the, the metric loss of, uh, of autoencoder. <clears throat> the alpha uh, stands for, uh, for the uh, Isometric loss of the uh, PC. So actually, this term means uh, we want to the uh, the isometric uh, isometric loss of autoencoder is no larger than PC. So we also train this uh, loss by using atom with uh, learning rate scale, uh, scheduler. <clears throat> so now I show you the application. So so first, I gonna apply OSCnet to some uh, uh, simple example, which we have uh, the ground truth uh, solution. We can measure the performance and compare the result with other uh, approaches. So uh, we consider the deterministic Langevin equation. Uh, so we have uh, two test cases. Uh, in the first case, test case, uh, we consider the Hawking spring uh, with constant resistance. Uh, in the second text case, uh, we uh, consider a nonlinear pendular model uh, with nonlinear re resistance. Here, this resistance gamma is equal to three times the V square. Uh, this uh, figure shows you the performance of OnsenNet and uh, the other two uh, neural network. Uh, with six different activation functions. Uh, uh, MLP means a multi-layer perception OD net. Uh, it's an unstructured OD net. Uh, the same ODEN means the, it is a dissipative uh, symplectic OD net. It's a structured and uh, yeah, uh, it's recently proposed by some uh, authors from the machine learning com community. So uh, we test uh, uh, five different activation functions, uh, the touch functions, void, soft plus, req, and requr. Uh, req is the square of relu, and uh, uh, we recently showed that by using req, uh, neural network uh, uh, we can recover the spectral uh, accuracy of polynomial approximation. And the RequeR is a regularized Requeue. So it 
it given into this in this form and has a uniform a uniform Lipschitz constants. So in multi-layer uh, neural network, the QR uh, network is easier to train than RQ network since uh, uh, its derivative is bounded. Uh, the, the height of the bar actually uh, uh, corresponds to the, the accuracy of the, uh, the learning result. Uh, from this figure, we can see uh, OnScanNet gives the best performance, uh, followed by the MLP ODE. Uh, the performance of uh, uh, sympathetic ODE net is not very good. Uh, the reason is that uh, in their original uh, applica implication, uh, SIM ODN assumed that the uh, resistance matrix depend on the coordinate x only. But here in in this application, uh, the dissipation gamma uh, all, all the resistance uh, actually depend on uh, velocity. So that uh, means there mismatch. There is a mismatch between the physical structure and the assumed structure. So. Now let's look at the trajectory accuracy. On the right figure, I show uh, that there, there are 12 trajectories starting from the four boundaries of the sample region. And uh, the solid curve are the trajectory, trajectories of the land system. The dot are the trajectory points snapshot of the underlying ground, ground truth solution. So we can see uh, there, uh, yeah, the, it, they are very accurate. Uh, so on the left, uh, I show you the one trajectory with max error. Uh, so we cannot distinguish between the learner system and the original system with uh, by our eyeball uh, uh, norm. So the, this this uh, this error plot tell us that uh, uh, <coughs> up to uh, 20 seconds, our uh, learning system has a numerical error uh, smaller than 100%. Okay, uh, this slide uh, shows us the learned energy function, uh, energy function compared with the exact uh, uh, energy. So on the most left uh, are the learned potential for the linear Hooke model and the pendulum model. On the right are uh, the exact potential or, or function, total energy. Uh, we can see uh, there are difference. Uh, so there are uh, rotation and uh, uh, scale uh, between the, the learning system and the exact uh, uh, free energy. That is, uh, yeah, uh, in the Oscar principle, uh, there, uh, there the, the energy function all, uh, is not unique. It's, it's uh, uh, you uh, usually you have some rotation uh, or scaling uh, can be allowed in those systems. So, but anyway, after alignment, uh, the land potential function or, or total energy function actually uh, have a very high accuracy. Uh, on the middle two figure, actually it are uh, the uh, learned potential after a linear transform. So uh, the numerical uh, error between the aligned land system uh, energy and the exact energy is below uh, three times 10 to negative five for the uh, Hooke model and uh, uh, seven times 10 to negative three for the pendular model. Now, uh, in the deterministic laundry equation, uh, we have a closed system. Uh, now we look at the uh, uh, unclosed and a forced system, the famous Lorentz system. Lorentz system is a forced dissipation system. It does not has uh, has a Hamilton structure. So here, the force is related to the uh, scaled re uh, relay number r here. So larger R means larger external force. So when R is equal to uh, 16 for this parameter setting, we have no chaotic solution. So we have a true uh, stable limit uh, fixed point 
and the two unstable uh, limit cycles are marked by the ye yellow curves. <clears throat> and uh, again, the solid curves are the uh, uh, numerical trajectories uh, stimulated by the learned system. Uh, the dots are the snapshot data of the original exact uh, Lorentz system. We can see we uh, we the, the the OD system learned by Arsenet is very very accurate uh, by looking at this uh, uh, plot of trajectory at uh, the error plot. Actually, we have a four digit. Uh, it's a rel relative error is below uh, probably. 10 to next to 4, right? Okay, uh, here in this figure, uh, this figure shows the, uh, the result of the uh, classical parameter setting. Yeah, that's the, the case studied by Lawrence to show that uh, this system has a chaotic solution. So uh, if we use R equal to 28, so the solution uh, have only one stable attractor, which is the butterfly-shaped uh, solution given here. So the solution start from uh, any point in this figure. Uh, the solution gonna travel around, uh, uh, waggling uh, on the left side for through through uh, circles, and then uh, switch to the uh, uh, right part, and then uh, waggling a few circles. I know. Uh, switch back randomly. So uh, <clears throat> there, uh, there are four trajectories are plotted. Uh, the red one, actually, the one with the largest numerical error, which we show, we show is show showing on the top plot and the middle plot. Uh, from uh, which we can see, uh, we have a very good quantitative accuracy up to two time equal to twenty. Here, right? Uh, the trajectory is very accurate, uh, but after several switches uh, between the two winds, uh, the uh, the learning system eventually lost accuracy. Uh, but uh, uh, even uh, it has no long time accuracy. Uh, it give you uh, qualitative properties. Uh, it captures a long time qualitative property of the system. Now, uh, the last uh, application, application is uh, the major application of, uh, of our uh, work. Uh, we want to uh, learn a, a low dimensional model for the Rene Bernard conversion problem. So uh, for those who, who are not familiar with uh, Rene Bernard conversion, I will say a few words. It's uh, considered uh, a, a fluid confined in a channel uh, between two plate the upper plate uh, the, the upper plate at the the bottom plate have a different temperature uh, with uh, the the bottom plates have high temperature the top uh, plate have a low temperature so which means uh, uh, the fluid is heated from below uh, when the temperature difference is uh, is small uh, the fluid is going to stay in a steady state. But uh, when <clears throat> uh, the, the temperature difference is large, uh, the fluid may uh, have some convection. Uh, so the equation is governed, uh, the system is governed by the uh, incompressible Navier-Stokes equation, uh, with, coupled with uh, convection diffusion for the temperature. <clears throat> There are several uh, non-dimensional uh, uh, no parameters uh, which are given uh, as uh, relay number and uh, front number, and uh, uh, there is a critical relay number. Uh, so when when r is larger than this critical number, then the con convection gonna uh, start. So the uh, the scaled relay number uh, in the Lorentz system is just uh, uh, the ratio of a real number to the uh, critical relay number. Uh, so the Lorentz system actually is ob obtained from this uh, 
this PDE system uh, by using three most unstable uh, uh, Fourier mode and the Galagian approximation. So to study this, we have to generate data. We use a uh, uh, fully Lagrange solver, uh, uh, simulate this system and uh, using 100 Lorentz type initial conditions and uh, solve them for uh, uh, 100 time units or 400 time units, uh, if r equal to 84. So we use the recur also net uh, with the one hidden common hidden layer or two hidden common hidden layer to learn the system uh, after a dimension reduction uh, is is done with uh, PC or auto encoder. <clears throat> now let's look at the numerical results. Uh, in this slide, uh, I show you the trajectory uh, accuracy. Uh, this is the one trajectory randomly chosen from the test exam uh, test sets. Uh, the three, uh, the first three components are plotted. The color uh, curves are the uh, trajectory of the learned OD system. The black curve with dot. Uh, a are the uh, trajectory uh, three component of the trajectory of the uh, underlying PDE system. Here uh, we use the PC as a dimension redu reduction. Uh, M equal to three means we use the three uh, principal components. Uh, five uh, it means we use five principal components. As you can see, uh, by using more and more. Uh, uh, principal components, we will uh, we we obtain more and more accurate results. So by using using nine uh, principal components, we we obtain a nine-dimensional OD system that can give you uh, qualitative uh, quantitative uh, accurate uh, result. Here on this slide, it shows. I show you the the structure of the uh, in the face uh, the stru structure of the dynamics we learn. Okay, uh, from these two figure we can see the uh, on the right one if we we project the trajectory into P one and P three plane we can see it also has a butterfly shaped. Uh, uh, this portrait, but here we have only uh, free, uh, stable fixed points A, B, C, and D. There are four of them. Uh, if we use a similar parameter in the Lorentz system, we have only one uh, stable chaotic solution uh, as the only attractor. But uh, here, uh, using uh, the, the original system and the land ask net as for different. Uh, stable for a fixed point. So uh, again, the solid curve uh, is a trajectory uh, from the learned OD system. Uh, the dots are the snapshot of the, uh, from the underlying PD system. We can see we, we captured the system uh, quantitar with quantitative accuracy, or we also capture all those uh, limit site uh, 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 fixed point, and uh, there are no there should be one limit cycle, but I didn't calculate. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, the, uh, yeah, there are only four uh, stable uh, fixed point here. Uh, we numerically uh, calculate uh, the Jacobian of uh, the learned system at, at those points to verify that uh, all those points are stable. Uh, note that. Uh, if a uh, spiker uh, Galagian method is used, one need use more than 100 modes to get a convergence result without kills for a similar problem. So this is well, well known, uh, and uh, it actually uh, Curry uh, published paper uh, in, 90, uh, in 1984 uh, on GFM, said that uh, uh, if you use less than 100 modes, uh, then you're gonna have some uh, chaotic behavior uh, in the system, uh, which is not physical. And 
So uh, in their paper, they use more than 100 modes to get the uh, get get a convergent result. But here we use only nine modes, uh, which means by using the PC or autoencoder approach with the uh, OnScanNet, we can get a, a more accurate result than the traditional uh, fourier galagin uh, truncation method. On this page, I show you the quantitative accuracy. So uh, on the first part is that uh, we use uh, PC uh, to do dimension reduction. On the second part, we use autoencoder. We can see in both cases by using more and more hidden variables, uh, we get uh, uh, the learning system uh, get a better and better result. Um, mm -hmm. E ET equals one is the uh, prediction error for one time unit. Uh, ET equal to 99 is, is the pre prediction error using 99 uh, time unit. <coughs> but, uh, and field is the number of trajectory uh, field to convert to the right uh, fixed point uh, after 100 time unit. So overall, uh, autoencoder have uh, a much better accuracy uh, than PCA. You can see from those here uh, for for the prediction error. You can see we have uh, yeah, it's improved a lot, especially for low dimensional, right? Uh, the the reason that there is a uh, there are one one particular case that. Uh, uh, when nine dimensional is used, uh, which uh, PC already give you very good result, uh, but autoencoder uh, have no uh, improve, improvement uh, for the long time uh, prediction. That's uh, probably because there are some data that uh, uh, trajectory that goes through some saddle point. It's very sensitive to the uh, to the error. If it's you cannot capture the saddle point. Uh, behavior very accurately, then if there's some numerical error over there, then it will give you a wrong result uh, for a long time prediction. So to improve this, we probably need to using some active sampling strategy, a strategy to improve the sampling uh, accuracy around the saddle points. On this slide, I show you the learned energy function. <clears throat> so by using three mode, we can see the learned system actually uh, have uh, have uh, two local minima in the energy function, uh, which are quite different to the original dynamic system. Uh, by using more uh, five mode or nine mode, we can see the isosurface of the learned energy function uh, is uh, more and more ellipsoidal, and which uh, means the, uh, the function should be uh, a predictable. Uh, I also saw one uh, picture uh, using autoencoder. You can see by using three mode, uh, the shape of autoencoder, uh, the, the energy function learned by using autoencoder is better than the PCA case. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, close to uh, to the five mode PC case, right? Yeah, not exactly, but uh, yeah, it's more more close to the original uh, uh, underlying system. So in the last figure, I show you a uh, application with larger uh, really number. Here, when R equal to eighty. Four, we have uh, four limit cycles at the limit sets instead instead of the uh, four fixed points. <clears throat> but uh, uh, starting from the in a lowering type of initial values, uh, the the solution uh, needed to run for a very very long time. It's waggling around uh, for a very very long time before landing to those. Uh, uh, limit cycles. Uh, so we we train the data. Uh, uh, we train the the OnScanNet with the data of uh, 400 time units long. 
uh, and uh, from the data, we cannot see these uh, limit cycles, but uh, after we learn the ask net, we do some uh, uh, calculation on the ask net, we can uh, numerically calculate those limit cycles. And, uh, uh, but if we, we want to calculate the limit cycle uh, using the original uh, dynamic system, it's a hard time dimensional, we ex expect a much larger uh, computational cost uh, to do this. So that's the uh, advantage to learn a lot low dimensional system uh, to do further analysis. Okay, uh, now some summary. So we have presented a systematic method to learn stable and interpretable dynamics. So we impose some physical meaningful structure uh, to ensure stability without sacrificing uh, accuracy. Actually, uh, in a lot of the application, uh, the accuracy is improved by, by imposed those structures. <clears throat> we use very general hypothesis space. It's uh, applicable to a wide range of, of uh, problems. And we introduce an uh, in autoencoder with metric preserving regularization. Uh, it finds better nonlinear generalized coordinates. The end to end training leads to better low dimensional reduced order, order model. So, our uh, method is uh, based on data only, so, uh, which give you a non intrusive high fidelity model that could be served as a uh, surrogate model for faster computation and further and further analysis. Even though we have shown that answer learn can learn very uh, accurate model, uh, so it can be further improved and extended uh, with some uh, well-known uh, strategy uh, in machine learning. For example, the active, active sampling strategy and uh, sparsity promoting and uh, the operator filtering uh, to method to learn a PD system. So some of those uh, improvements is currently under investigation. Okay, uh, I because uh, lungs of the time, I didn't show you some details in the talk. So if you are interested, you can uh, find all the details in our archive paper. I will also take this opportunity to acknowledge, to uh, make a acknowledgement uh, to the to my funding agency, and also I benefit a lot from the discussions uh, to uh, all those friends. Uh, so thank you. If you have any comments or questions, uh, you are welcome to send me an email. Uh, thank you for your attention.